another day in the life vlog guys uh, it's been a while but it is Friday and it looks like such a nice day out there so I thought I'd pick up the camera and bring you along on everything I get up to today first things first I need to go bring Joe out for his walk and I'm gonna go meet Erica because we have a Pilates class and then the class we're doing is actually right next door to Trader Joe's which is perfect because I love going to Trader Joe's on a Friday it's usually fully stocked and I can just get bits for the weekend and that is the plan might grab a coffee too because why not end of week treat and kind of been looking forward to it all week so yeah gonna go do that first I am sorry for how tired I look and pale I need to put on some tan uh, I just woke up as you saw so I promise I'll be looking a little bit better later on in the video um I'm kind of rushing now because I need to go meet her in like five minutes so I better go but I will be sure to chat to you more when I come back and hopefully you'll enjoy this little day in the life much my arms are so sore from carrying all this I went overboard it's only like a couple of blocks from my apartment but usually I try to just get like one bag so it's not too heavy um, and today I just went crazy but anyway let me unpack these I'll actually show you some of the bits I got while I'm unpacking and um, that's just avocados and onions bananas treats from Jojo do you see them mama you do I got you treats he loves them. Um, I got wraps, ketchup of course, ketchup obsessed over here, some peppers and sweet potatoes. I got chocolate actually, dark chocolate because I'm going to make some chocolate covered dates later. We're actually going to Eric and Tommy's for dinner this evening so I wanted to bring something for dessert. So, and I saw this little frozen date um, like filled with peanut butter and covered in chocolate recipe on TikTok. So I'm gonna try and make them. I'll show you later when I make them. More treats for Joel. Um, I saw these as well actually. They're like little dark chocolate covered banana slices. I know you could make these yourself. They're probably super easy, but I just had to pick them up. I thought they'd be nice for after dinner. Got some yogurts for David. Um, more chocolate, the dates that I will be using to make my little dessert later. I got some chicken um just cooked chicken handy for like lunch and wraps and stuff overnight oats because we're too lazy to make them um and then oh god that bag's not gonna last i got some more vegetables and lentil pasta i actually love this lentil pasta it's really high in fiber and protein so that's a good one for dinner if you want to substitute eggs I'm gonna have to move some of this shortly because I'm running out of room. And then I also got this green juice. I really like this one. Um, it's not the best tasting juice in the world, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it's great to just slug it back in the morning. First thing, I put loads of ice in a glass and I just pour a little bit in every morning. It usually lasts me like four mornings. And then some peanut butter. Let me move that bag and make some room. Broccoli frozen because I always forget about it and then it goes off. These roast potatoes I absolutely love and they've been out of stock for ages so I'm so happy to see them. Then a little cauliflower pizza. I got some paper towel. 
sorry, I wasn't planning on doing like a full Trader Joe's haul, but it's kind of just happening, isn't it? Um, I got these flowers. I love these because they last for ages and they look really pretty. Um, I'm going to put them into the vase now and take the old ones out. Got spinach, peanuts for the dates. I'm going to put them into the dates. Cheese, and I think that's it. We got some bread and, oh, tomatoes. So I'm just going to put that away now. And then I'm gonna go have a shower, wash my hair. I feel all sweaty after that Pilates class. And more so like trawling those bags home. That was the real workout. So I'll do a little time lapse and I'll talk to you after the shower. like a new woman after that is there any nicer feeling than like coming out of a shower feeling all clean and putting on like fresh cozy clothes i just don't think there is but i just dried my hair a little bit there because it was like sopping wet um, and i did use my latest purchase the dyson air wrap guys i'm so excited about this i got it like about two weeks ago now maybe less actually like a week and a half i haven't really um shared anything about it on like instagram but i have been loving it i'm still getting the hang of it i had planned to actually film like a first impressions with it but i could not wait to try it i just was too eager um but so far so good i really really like it so i just dried my hair with that a little bit i'll show you how i use the rest of the attachments when i'm like finishing my hair shortly and um, just like briefly um but first before i get into that i'm gonna do some skincare and makeup i didn't do any skincare this morning because i just don't really like wearing skincare to classes because i find if i'm sweating like the moisturizer or the spf will like go into my mouth and i don't like that so i am gonna do some now and just a little bit of makeup to make myself feel a little bit more put together today and for you guys so you don't have to look at this makeup free face all day. I'm just gonna clip back my hair so it's not in the way when I'm washing my face. And to start off, I'm gonna use my cleanser. It's the Codex one from their Bia line. It's called the Exfoliating Wash. I'm actually gonna be working with Codex this year, which is really, really exciting to me because one main reason, this time last year, you might remember if you watch my vlogs regularly, I did a vlog in Ireland and I showed you like my skincare routine in depth. And you might remember me showing you the moisturizer from Codex and I said to you, I just got it like maybe a couple of weeks beforehand and I really liked it and I was using it a lot. And I continued to use that mo this particular moisturizer like all of last year. Um, it's just like a really lightweight moisturizer. It's lovely for under makeup, lovely for even before you go to bed. And then in December, they got in touch with me to work with me in 2022, which was really weird because Obviously, I loved the moisturizer and it was just like a full circle moment. And I didn't know this, but when um, Codex actually sent me that moisturizer back in like 2020, it was like the end of 2020 that I got it because I started using it in January 2021. I didn't realize at the time, but the ingredients in the products are actually Irish. Like it's called the Bia range, which should have clicked with me. Bia means food in Irish. And basically it's called that because they use ingredients from Irish plants. Um, so, so it's just like the perfect fit, me being Irish, obviously, and me already loving one of their products. And I've gotten to know a lot of their other products now because I've been using them since the beginning of this year, especially in the BL line. And I really, really like them as well. So I'm gonna show you how I use them. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of this on my hand and work it into the skin. My skin is so dry at the moment. We've had such cold weather in New York. Today is lovely, but like the last few weeks has been so cold. So it's just very dry and dehydrated and dull. So this exfoliating wash is nice for just bringing it back to life, cleansing all the dirt off and giving it a new smooth texture. I'm gonna just get a little bit more into my forehead. It feels really nice on actually, it's like, it's nice and creamy and it has little particles in it, but they're not rough and big. Do you know those ones that like hurt your skin and kind of like exfoliate too much? This does not do that. It just feels like it's doing its job very gently, which is so, so important when you're exfoliating your skin. You have to be very mindful that you're not too rough. I'm just gonna wash that off. 
Okay, after all that's washed off, I then go in with the next product from the Bia line. It is the facial oil. Sorry if you hear Joy barking. You can hear someone in the rubbish room. Um, but this is the facial oil. I actually love this product because I had never really used a facial oil before. I'd always been meaning to try one because I always see people using them and I just think they look really nice and nourishing, especially if your skin is dehydrated or dry. So it's kind of like my first experience with an oil and I think that's why I love it so much. It's so nice and I love the packaging, the little dropper, the way it's built into the packaging. Because when you close it, it like goes in. Really nice. And then I just moisturize that into my skin. You don't need too much. Like three drops is plenty. And my skin really drinks that, especially at the moment. And I did forget to mention as well that this brand is extremely clean. I'm really trying to educate myself more on clean products and clean brands because... I feel like I do that with food, like when I'm cooking at home and when I'm making my own food at home, I'm very conscious of the ingredients that I use in my meals. So why am I not doing that with like my skincare and my hair products, like my makeup, you know, it just doesn't make sense. So I'm really trying to start. It's obviously really hard, especially when you're used to using like a lot of products that aren't clean. Um, but you know what? God loves a trier, I'm trying to make positive changes and you know, this is obviously a good start. And then I'm gonna finish off by using the moisturizer. This is the Skin Superfood. This is the one I've like used for about a year now and I just really like it. The texture is really, really nice. It's, it's like perfectly thin on the skin, but it still feels like a nourishing moisturizer, if that makes sense. And you don't need a lot. A little goes a long way. And as I said, I really like this for under makeup. I just find it like holds makeup really nicely and gives you a nice base. Don't forget to put it on your neck, guys. I'm very conscious of my neck this year. I feel like it's the first thing that starts aging you, your neck. It like gives away all the secrets because we all forget to put SPF on there and moisturizer on there, so don't forget. Okay, 10 times better, 10 times more glowy. So let's move on to makeup. I'm not gonna put loads on because I don't really have much happening today. I'm just gonna use a CC cream, just lightly, just to give myself a little bit of something, something. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury one, the new one that was just released, which I absolutely love. This is a new bottle, sorry, so it's taking a second to come out. I have two shades. Um, I usually use the darker one, but I'm quite pale today, so I'm going to try this one. It's in the colour 2 Neutral. Yeah, that's a good match. Okay, next I'm going to go in with my MAC concealer. This is the Pro Longwear one. Um, just a little bit under the eyes. Next, I'm going to go out my Charlotte Tilbury contour. We're just doing a very, very quick contour today, nothing crazy. And then for blush, I'm actually going to go out my Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand in Pinkasm. I just got this yesterday, so I'm very, very excited. This product has been like sold out everywhere for like a year now because of uh, Madison Beer. So I cannot wait to try it for the first time. I've literally seen so many people use this. It's the same as the contour, just a blusher, but I'm a cream blush obsessed person, so I think I'm gonna love this. Oh, she's pretty. The colors are lovely. I'm usually like, I wasn't a pink blush person before, but I'm after turning into a lover of it rather than peach. Oh, she's so nice. It's so glowy as well. It's like a highlight and a blusher in one. If you can get your hands on this, do it because it's so hard to get. Okay, for eyebrows, I'm gonna use a spoolie and David's gel, LOL. Okay, I just filled them in with the pomade as well while I was at it and now I'm gonna put some lip liner on. This, look how teeny tiny this one is. It's nearly finished and I'm like determined to finish it. It's stripped down from MAC. And I'm just gonna pop some Makeup by Mario lipstick over it. This is in the shade Sam. For my eyes, I'm actually just gonna put a little bit of the contour stick in the edge. When I'm like not bothered about my how my makeup looks and when I'm kind of rushing, I find this is a good trick. Just to like give a little bit of definition. And then I'm just gonna use my Laura Mercier um, mascara. I think this is the Panoramic Mascara. I'll link everything below just in case that's not the name. Sorry, the lighting in here is so bad. Someday I will have a bathroom with good lighting. Let's manifest it together. 
and that is my super quick makeup literal five minutes so simple so easy but guys i just saw the time and today is going so so fast oh my god i was going to show you how i use the air wrap on my hair and how i kind of am using it but i need to go make the dessert for tonight first so i'll come back to that um we're going to eric and tommy's as i said for dinner tonight and i need to bring dessert and it needs to go in the freezer for a while first so i better go do that now um i'll show you what i'm making okay so i'm basically making dates that are filled with peanut butter and like peanuts on top and then dipped in chocolate and I'm gonna put them in the freezer to freeze and apparently they're like a healthy version of Snickers. I saw them on TikTok. I cannot remember the name of the girl I saw them on, but I will put her username here when I find it. Um, she just made it look super easy and they looked really delicious. I've never eaten a date in my life, but we're gonna try it and I'm gonna bring it tonight. Um, we're all trying to be healthier this year, like me, Erica, Tommy and David, so this is my effort. To be healthy but still have something nice to look forward to after dinner. Um, so I'm gonna get started. I'll try one with you guys and see how it goes. And I won't bore you with the whole thing, I'll speed up the rest. So I'm just gonna get my dates. Oh Jesus, they're bigger than I thought they'd be. Um, and then top up my peanuts. Joey is looking at me like, what are you doing, Mom? I have 10,000 things to do today and this is the kind of stuff I bring on myself. Like, why do I do this? But anyway, I think it'll be worth it. So I'm just gonna chop up some peanuts to have them ready for the rest. I was trying to find ones that were already chopped, but they weren't there, so. Uh-oh, they're going everywhere. Okay, that'll have to do for now. I might have to chop up more soon. But anyway, I'm just gonna get my date. Apparently you just have to cut it down the middle, pull it apart, get your peanut butter and basically just like fill it in, like fill the date with the peanut butter. Yeah, that looks right. And then just get your peanuts and like put them in the middle. I'll, show, I'll try to show you a close up before I put them in the freezer. So kind of like that. So it's just filled with peanut butter and then the peanuts are on top. And then I'll cover the whole thing in chocolate. I think I'll do all that at the end though, because I have to melt it. So I'm just gonna keep going and try to do maybe like, I don't know, 10? Okay guys and that is the final result they i think they look pretty good um kind of messy but i couldn't really fit them on properly so i just had to bunch them together i'm gonna pop them in the freezer now um maybe for like an hour i'm not sure how long it will take but i'll let you know how they are later i will give you an update and let you know what everyone else thinks of them too i'm gonna clean up after that now and then i'm just gonna sit down and do a little bit of laptop work for a while I just need to get back to a couple of things before the week is over. Um, I actually like set up a little office space for myself. I got a notion the other day and moved the thing under the television and the chair that we used to have here behind the couch. You'll see in a few moments when I'm on my laptop. Just to see what it would be like for an office space. I don't know if I'm going to use those two pieces of furniture um, because obviously they were here. Um, but yeah, I was just testing it out. I think I probably will keep the console over there because it's like just the perfect size and get something new for under the TV, which I need to find. But I'm gonna move the chair back and get like a smaller chair for under the desk, I think. But yeah, just in case you're wondering. Um, also, this set is from H&M in case anyone is wondering. I'll link it below if it's still available. I only got it like last week. Um, but yeah, gonna do some laptop work now and just tie up loose ends and then I actually have to run to Zara to just do a quick return and I'm trying to think what else is on my list today. I've been forgetting something but anyway um, I'll try and film the hair for you as well before I go to Erica's. Going there in about two three hours I think so yeah we'll get it all done. I, I make these unrealistic lists for myself and then I am like why didn't I get it done? <sighs> Not to worry um, I'm gonna actually make coffee as well now because I'm so so tired so I'm gonna get that and go over to my desk for a while and I will check in with you soon. Okay. 
Okay, a couple hours later, it's fully dark outside now. Um, we're going to go to Erica shortly, but I'm actually going to do the Zara run on my way. And I also remember that I have to print a photo, so I'm going to try and do that too at some stage. I did not get around to doing the hair, but I was thinking I actually don't really need my hair done tonight because I want to go into Erica's, but I do need to have it done tomorrow because I'm shooting something. So I'll just film it for you in the morning instead. So it'll be like a day in the life and a bit, um, but I hope you don't mind. Okay, so I'll pop up the camera when I'm doing it in the morning just so you can see. Um, I won't go into too much detail, but I'll show you the, the attachments that I use and how I create the curl. Um, but for now, I need to run to Zara. And then I'm gonna meet David downstairs um, and we're gonna to go to Erica's together. So I'll bring you along. morning and as promised I'm back to you with a hair kind of tutorial it's probably going to be a pretty quick one but I'm going to just show you real quick how I use it and if you want like maybe a more in-depth one when I'm more used to using it like in a couple of weeks I can film that like separately and just have a video on my channel for that but before I get into this I must update you about the dates guys because they were so good I brought them to Eric and Tommy's and we all loved them they literally tasted like Snickers so definitely try them if you're looking for like like a little healthy snack they were so good we had them with like vanilla ice cream as well and it was delicious and we literally played like so many games of scrabble i'd never played scrabble before but eric and tommy are after getting hooked to it and it is the best oh my god we're addicted now i cannot wait to play again already <laughs> i'm really bad so i want to get better but anyway into the hair tutorial so as you saw i started with the hair drying um attachment so i use that and i usually do like 90% dry obviously it's fully dry now because it's been a day but usually I do it to like 90% dry and then I put on this attachment it's kind of for straightening but it just helps to smooth the top of my hair I find so I basically just smooth that down using this um like that it literally takes a few seconds just to get any like baby hairs to sit down obviously I turn it on um but I don't really fully need that today because it feels kind of smooth at the top I think this is more for when it's like kind of wet and frizzy and you want to like dry it down and smoothen it down whereas mine's kind of smooth as you can see at the moment it kind of dried that way yesterday so I don't need to use that today and then obviously we go into the most important part these are the air wrap curling attachments I guess you'd call them and these are the smaller ones so you get like four of these in total two that are thicker and then two that are thinner like these ones and the reason you get two is because they blow the air in different directions so you use one for one side and one for the other side because I was kind of confused about that when I first got them so I'll demonstrate how I do a couple and then I'll probably speed up the rest because it'd be very boring to watch me do my whole head but basically you just put the right attachment on for the right side I just tried to show you curl there and it did not work out so I'm gonna do it again before I actually explain it I need to show you this is the cold shot so this is the on button but if you press it all the way to the top it puts out like a cold shot of air so for when you're curling the hair when it's on if you do like a little cold shot at the end it helps set it so when I say cold shot that's what I mean so basically you turn it on get a piece of hair make sure it's not too big Put, sort of put it under the hair, wrap it around, and then let it wrap up itself. Leave it for a few seconds, then do the cold shot, and then turn it off and pull it down. And that is what you're left with. And they're just really nice bouncy curls at the beginning, but they fall into like a lovely blow dried look. And that's what I love about this most so far. Obviously, I'm still kind of getting used to it. I haven't even used the bigger um, curling ones yet. But I really like these ones because I like the tighter curl. So I'll just do it once more for you. Put it under, let it curl off itself. Cold shot, let it down. And yeah, it just looks so healthy and so like, I don't know, it makes the curls look extra shiny as well, I feel. I just, it's so nice. So I'm gonna do the whole head. I'll speed it up for you so you can watch. And yeah, I'll show you the finish result at the end. Thank you. 
that is the finished result. I did a very quick job there because I'm kind of rushing as usual. Um, but this gives you like an idea of the type of blowout kind of look that you get from it. I'll pop some hairspray on them now and it'll probably kind of last me for the rest of the weekend, which is great. Like the curls won't stay, but the blow dry look will stay, which I love. And that's what I wanted to achieve by getting the dicing because I just think that look is so classic and it always looks good. So I hope that was helpful. As I said, I will do a more in-depth one if you want. I know that was kind of quick and choppy, um, but just let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. And I'm gonna end the vlog here now. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love for you to do that. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.